Y'all know how crazy the world is? Elon Musk, when he took over Twitter, he literally started dropping Twitter files. And they explained to the U.S. population that the government was literally censoring information to push a certain narrative to, like, basically manipulate the population. And you know what? Nobody, nobody cared at all. Nobody cared in the slightest. People literally go missing every single day. But nobody cares at all. You know what? But then, when Will Smith slaps somebody, it's viral. Like, think about that. That's crazy. <laughs> That's literally absurd, dog. Like, our priorities are so messed up. Elon is simply him. When you think about it, he really did it all, you know? He just handled his business. And he keep doing what he want. <laughs> Like, this man was literally, literally has a space station. Think about, like, think about that. A regular person like you with a whole lot of money just got a space station. Think about that. That's crazy. Like, he damn near got the power of a politician as a regular person. Like, he don't even have to, like, get elected. Like, he just like that. W. Elon. Bro has a space station, flying car, Tesla truck, etc. Fat. And he's just him. Like, he don't gotta, like, the thing about it is, like, you know he get hoes just off the merits. Just off the fact that he him. Like, <laughs> he don't even gotta look good. He just got it like that. It's a crazy world we live in, dog. And then look at me. A regular dude just on stream eating Mr. V's burger. <laughs> <laughs> while while Elon Musk out there working his ass off. Oh. Bro definitely got hoes. For sure. <laughs> For sure. He's not lacking in that department. <laughs> I promise. And they probably bad too. Not no average regular. Like he probably got some cold and too. He probably got some of the baddest hoes in the world. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Y'all think Elon Musk got some of the baddest women in the world? Bro, got that Bussin' Burger and them dry ass fries. You see, I'm trying to dip them in the. I'm trying to dip in the ketchup. I'm done with the fries. I didn't eat all of the fries. That's why they a five out of ten. I didn't eat them all. That's why they not a five. Come on, man. But I'm done eating. I'm done eating my food. We about to do these reactions. He could he could create his own girlfriend. He probably dead ass could. You I know y'all heard about the Neuralink. Anybody who's who can do that, if he pull that off, y'all, it's gonna be crazy. I, matter of fact, we eating a Mr. Beast burger and we talking about Elon Musk. I seen the clip. Of uh, Mr. Beast talking about if he came out with the Neuralink, Mr. Beast would get it. And the way he, Mr. Beast is smart, you guys. I don't know if you understand this. Mr. Beast is like the Elon Musk of YouTube right now. This dude, Elon Musk, I mean, this dude, Mr. Beast said he would get it. At, at first, I was like, he crazy. Why would he get that? But when he explained why, it makes so much sense. Mr. Beast said he would get the Neuralink because eventually... Imagine if Mr. Beast and Elon Musk collaborated with each other. Facts, dog. It would be huge. But he said he would get the Neuralink because eventually everyone would have a Neuralink. And if you didn't have a Neuralink, which would connect you to the to the internet, kind of like having AI in your brain, then you would just be behind. Like, you wouldn't be able to get a job eventually. You would just be struggling because you decided not to get a Neuralink. It's like we're at this point where you either evolve with everybody else or you fall behind and die. Like, that's literally evolution right now. Like, we're, we're living through evolution. Like, if he come out with the Neuralinks and at least 30% of the population get it, they're going to be so much better than the rest of us. Assuming that it works, you know, flawlessly. They're going to be so ahead of us that everybody else is going to have to get it or we're going to fail. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they definitely won't be able to handle that.
would you get a Neuralink if it meant you were smarter? Like, how y'all feel about that? I don't even know how to feel. Like, I wouldn't want to get a Neuralink, but if I had to, to, to survive, I feel like I would have to. You know what I'm saying? And then they say at what point, like, if you a Christian, they say at what point do you choose to live? Or die for God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if you get to that point to where you got to choose? Are you going to die for God? I feel like I'd die for God. I ain't going to lie. But the scary part about it all is because, like, we can believe, and faith is believing without sight, without, without proof. We have no definitive proof of God. Even though, you know, the world around us is supposed to be the proof. But, like, faith is believing without without sight so it's like do we do we trust that god gonna save us and we don't want to live on this earth it's just a moment of time before there ain't humans on earth anymore it's basically guaranteed damn near because once once we get the ai in our brain we're not really human no more because what makes us human is you know our, our us being able to build on ourselves. and if we just all computer chips slash human then we damn near cyborgs everybody about to be a cyborg y'all <laughs> nah that's crazy being a cyborg is crazy I'm not gonna lie now I wanna be a cyborg <laughs> being a cyborg is actually crazy dog Cause then it'll it'll get to the point to where if we could do the Neuralink and we already like intelligent Justice League type facts, the only thing is everybody gonna be a cyborg, so it's not gonna be as cool, you know? Like the first couple people who cyborg, they gonna really be like, dang, they cold. What you taking a risk cause you don't know how it's gonna end up. But at the same time, it's like, dang, you're a cyborg. Like, tell me this, and they're gonna be able to tap into their brain. Oh, that that's easy. They gonna tell you it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to solve a lot of problems, but at the same time, like, Elon Musk was talking about how, like, it'll even, like, program the body to change. Like, if you got cancer, it'll, like, damn near heal it. Like, that's what he's trying to do. So it's going to solve a lot of problems. They turn NPCs into real things? Facts. It's like, do you trust it or do you not trust it? Because think about this. Our iPhone, y'all. Our iPhone. You know how much data... It picks up from you like think about advertising they're gonna be able to send thought like they're gonna be able to send stuff to your head you're not gonna like they literally trying to merge the fake world and reality to the point to where we we living in a false reality and we don't even know it look how far we've came from actual reality we're literally supposed to be on earth getting food like we're not supposed to be working and doing all of this extra stuff and going to school and doing like we literally supposed to just be surviving like that's literally but look at how far we came and look at how like we could go so far like my grandparents didn't have cell phones and now they everybody got them like we just like improving at such a fast rate to where it's like how far are we gonna go like how much convenience are we gonna have and I was gonna make a, I'm literally gonna make a YouTube video about this for my main channel on how dangerous AI can be. And like, bro, it's to the point to where like, I don't know if y'all know about this, but it's a thing called chat GPT. And basically like you could type something in and it'll give you an answer almost like you're a real person. Like you could come up, you could make a, a video script. You could write code. Like you could damn near build a whole website just using this one AI tool. Like, they got text to picture. Like, it's just blowing up to the point to where it's like, when are we going to become obsolete? Like, normal humans. When are we going to become obsolete? How far are we going to go in order to be successful? And what are we going to, what morals are we going to have to sell? Like, we're going to have to sell our morals away. What morals are we going to have to sell? It's a valid question to ask, you know?